Causeway ramp remains closed after a tanker fire. Look at these dramatic images right here on your screen. This happened at 1 a.m. this morning on the ramp from the Causeway to the Bayway. We've been tracking this story since 4.30 this morning on Local 15 Today. Right now we check in with Local 15's Christian Jennings and Christian crews are inspecting that ramp to make sure it is safe. Yes, crews are busy here. You can see the crews behind me. They have been working since this morning. This is a combination of crews from many different agencies work to fix working to fix this problem. And you can get a good idea for just how hot it must have been here this morning because you can see right here that the concrete on this bridge has literally been crumbling away. So now crews are trying to assess the damage and see just how much how many repairs need to be done and how extensive those repairs need to be. Now, this incredible video that you're looking at now is from a viewer on Facebook. Her name is Harriet Shade. It is truly a miracle that the driver of this 18 wheeler escaped with only minor injuries after overturning his truck this morning sometime between 1 and 2 a.m. As you can see, that tanker truck caught fire, exploded this morning and burned for quite some time. Officials tell us there were about 8,000 gallons of fuel on board at the time that the driver had just filled up on Pinto Island. He was headed out to make his gas station deliveries, but he did not get very far. Now, Aldock crews, along with other agencies, are assessing the damage to the bridge itself after this massive fire. The aggregate that's in the bridge will heat up, expand, and cause the concrete to deteriorate and separate. We have to check it to make sure that it's safe for traffic to get back on. Now, coming up in the 1230 half hour, we're going to talk more about the environmental precautions that crews are taking. You can see the boom that's in the water here because some of that uh, gasoline did, in fact, spill into Mobile Bay. We're not sure exactly how much. However, you can see again by looking at the crews, they are busy. They are going to stay busy. So keep that in mind during your evening commute today. Reporting live along the causeway, I'm Christian Jennings, Local 15 News.